We're in Ross today, people, checking out their home decor and craft supplies. They also had a little bit of Valentine's Day decor out. We're going to take a little peek at. First, we're going to check out the craft aisle. Now, this is nothing like it was the last time we were here. The last time, oh my gosh, it was filled to the nim. But today, it's a little a little sparing. I did find some gems in here I want to share. I really like this little chalkboard piece here and the designs that it had on the ends. $4.99 for this and if you wanted to use the other side as a decor, you know, change it on out. You could paint the back, put some decoupage on there, whatever you want, and just flip it as you want to use it. We had a little pack of Sharpies here, 12 in this pack. I thought this was a great deal for these at five dollars and 49 cents someone left the light on this little piece of decor you know this little happy spring box and it was only 99 cents so i kindly made sure to turn the little light off so whoever does want to buy this little gem get some use out of this light i mean it's dim enough as it is goodness people turn off the lights if you're going to check something out anyhow we had a little pack of napkins here we had a little mystic flow sets little paint set now i did not pick this up we are not scrape painting any of that stuff but it was on sale for three dollars and 49 cents now we're going to schmooze on over into the aisle and the first thing that caught my eye as always is little paintbrush sets these are always a great deal you get good quality paintbrushes that do not just fall apart and you pay a little bit of nothing for these. I also feel like they're really beginner friendly because a lot of times they will show the brushes on the back and what type of brushes they are. And some will even have some little instructions. These are really fairly priced at $12.99. See here's the little thing with the picture with the brushes and just gives you a little bit of information so if you're new to painting it just helps you out a little bit this little set actually had a wood palette i love that 4.99 for this one and still one of my favorite sets i have not picked up yet is this pack with the black and the glitter 7.99 for this one here's me having a deep think to myself about putting them in the cart i didn't though i might go back and get them but i didn't we also had some of these little sets right here for $2.99 and a 14 piece calligraphy set. Now I thought this was super cool. I was about to pick this up for myself. I've never used calligraphy. So this would be a whole new adventure for me. $9.99 for that. We got a little paint pouring kit here, five pieces. I have never done paint pouring as well. I need to get on it a little bit. $6.99 for this set. Thought that was a great deal for these. Some of these acrylic pour paints at Michael's. Ooh, have you guys seen the prices on some of them? Ooh, scary. We also had some acrylic paint sets. These come with a little brush and a ton of acrylic paint in here. Price reduced at $3.99. We did have this brand right here of permanent markers. You got 16 in a pack. They were $3.49. I thought that was a really good deal. No, it's not the Sharpie brand. I'm not familiar with this brand, so I'm not sure how great it is, but I did want to give you guys the option. And we did have a couple little wood pieces here. And there was no price on this basket, so it was free. I'm just kidding. It wasn't free. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But you know I had to say it. Anyhow, we also had little chalkboard right next to it that I thought was really flipping nice. Look at me. I am trying to find the price tag on this because I wanted it. I'm like, I could take it up front, but I didn't feel like dealing with all of that. We also had the little plastic jars, $3.99. We got six of these. You can also get really cheap jars at Dollar General in a pack like that as well. Anyhow, back to our chalkboard over here. This was $4.99, which I thought was a great deal for that piece. is really big, really nice. And I don't know why I'm cleaning up this random banner that is just dangling down, but I felt it was my duty. If you like a doll coloring books or journaling, Ross usually has a bunch of great options. These books are really inexpensive and great to give as gifts or for you just to pick up for yourself and color and write in or, you know, whatever. They'd even look beautiful, ripped out and put into a nice little frame and hung on the wall. These are just gorgeous. I had to flip through and show you guys some of them. We 
we had 150 pack of gel pens. This is the biggest <laughs> pack of gel pens I've ever held in my hand. $24.99 for that. And of course, I'm still picking up paint <laughs> This one had a little apron. It was $9.99. And that was really it for the little craft section. I was a little disappointed, but there was some gems in there to check out, right, right? Next, we're gonna go through the home decor, starting with this bowl piece for $29.99. Gorgeous bowl. Absolutely love the canvas pieces. This one right here, the hat, the colors is absolutely stunning, $24.99. This floral piece, $16.99. Ross had a lot of nice pieces today, people, so I was really happy I kind of popped in here. Plus, your girl is tired of looking at Christmas stuff. I said it. I said it. <laughs> I am. I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday, my favorite time of the year. Love the feeling of cheer in the air, but I am over it. Absolutely over it. So here are my favorite finds of the store. These are very vintage, very gorgeous looking. I love the gold frames. I also love the $12.99 price tag. And each one of these were priced at $12.99. So as you can see, it's like a piece of fabric in there and then they have something printed on them. We have bird <laughs> sceneries. Love this blue one though. Look at that. It just pops right out the frame. These are absolutely gorgeous. Schmoozing on over to the other side of their back wall because they have tons of stuff all over the whole back wall. But on the one side, we got the canvas pieces we just checked out. And then on this side, we have like frame pieces and shelves and mirror type things like this and just like really artsy fartsy <laughs> types of pieces like this look at that i really like the little pop of teal that we have going on in here and we had a little jewelry holder this could go with so many different things you could even attach a shelf on to that as well 8.99 for this piece this large ornate piece was my second favorite find. Not the price tag though, not the price tag. It was $44.99. This is one of my favorite owls to pop in just to check out the glass stuff. I used to collect glass things before I had children. And then when you have children, you got to put all those things away because their grubby, sticky little fingers will break everything you own and hold dear. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love my kids some days. And then <laughs> I like to get inspired because sometimes things like this make me want to spray paint things and create my own decor. I really like this red piece. It was $9.99. We have a gold one, sort of similar in style. This was priced at $4.99. This might be the most unique looking candle holder I have ever seen. $14.99 for this piece. I really do like the rock though. It is super cool and super unique looking. Cute little mosaic vases. We had these in two different styles. We had the red and the gold with the silver. These were $11.99. Cute little lantern piece right here for $8.99. Dollar General sells similar pieces like this. Also very reasonable. And this joint, this is a little heavy. So be mindful if you go in the store and pick this up. It was priced at $16.99. Rolling one down the aisle, I kind of just skim some of the pieces because as you can see, there is a ton to go through. So I want to give you guys a nice little view of what we have on the shelves. This little tray piece down here definitely caught my eye. Take me to the beach. Absolutely love the wood and I love the neutral colors that we have going on here. I'm not a huge beach theme person, but I know a lot in my DIY community love nautical decor. So here y'all go. They're starting to put it out at Ross. You're welcome. I love y'all. This thing next to it, I was not sure if it was like, y'all remember, okay, because this is how old I am. I'm showing my age. The old ashtrays, like back in the day when you go into a store or a bar, they were like on this pedestal thing and then they were, that's what that reminds me. <laughs> Anyhow, back, back to present day, back in the store. I picked this up. Look, watch this. Are you guys watching? It had sand in it. It took me a minute. I was like, what? <laughs> I, for, when I first did it, I thought I was hallucinating. <laughs> I had to move it again. And then the sand shifted. I was like, okay, there's definitely sand in here. I don't know where that came from, but yeah. Last little pieces we're checking out right here are these gorgeous candle holders. I absolutely love glam. I don't use it a lot in my home. I'm more of a rustic, primitive, 
farmhouse, boho, all that eclectic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love me a nice a glam piece sprinkled out around the area. Next up is some Valentine's Day decor. This little piece right here I thought was flowers, but it's not. It's little wood, I don't know, little wood shaving bits. It was hard. <laughs> it hurt my hand to touch it. <laughs> it was really unique looking. I really liked the piece, but it looked like floral pieces at first glance. This little heart decor piece here is $5.99. Then we had a little banner down here. This was priced at $6.99, which I actually thought was kind of funny because the wood heart piece was cheaper. And then we had this right here for $7.99. On the other end cap, we had some table linens and we had some hand towels. The hand towels ranged in price from $3.99 to $5.99 and as you can see they had a ton of different decorative options for you to choose from with little sayings as well these were super cute do you guys decorate for valentine's day let me know in the comments below i'd love to know if you do or not i don't really decorate for valentine's day i know some people go all out it's like their jam i just it's not big for me i don't know i mean it's nice to get a little gift or something on that day but for the most part like if you love me say it all year you know what i mean drop me some sushi home on a random Wednesday for no reason. <laughs> Say it with a Starbucks gift card, okay? That's all I'm saying, okay. We also had some really nice tablecloths. We had cloth material and they had, I'm gonna say plastic, but you know it's not. It's like BPA, whatever, free and organic, all the things. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I like, I appreciate the fact that we're all very, very health conscious. I just, sometimes I like to joke about things. $4.99 for these PVA tablecloths. I thought these little, we're going to check them out in just a second. These little standing gnomes, can you see them up there to the right? Oh my gosh, I thought there was like it. I know we've seen some for Christmas at different places, but something about having the little love theme on them just makes me want to smush them <laughs> these right here were 5.99 love these and then we also had this little mouse piece and it came in different like styles so we had this one right here with the red with the dark gray 12.99 and then we had the little pink one right here and it was holding a little i love you banner this one was only 9.99 we had the little gnome with the flower rose behind its back for $7.99. And this little guy right here for $6.99 with no rose. He did not have no rose. This little gem right here was $9.99 with a little gold heart on the hat. Super cute. And look at these legs. <laughs> I don't know why I got the biggest kick out of the legs. But I loved these little pieces. They were my favorite out of the little Valentine's decor. I don't know why that one was laying down. Somebody walked by and smacked it or something. I had to fix it. Anyhow, that's going to be it for this browse, people. As always, thank you all for stopping by and hanging out. I hope you all found some gems that you enjoyed or want to go out and pick up. And until next browse, bye!